Hi, this is Sal Ferrara from the Electrical Training Center, and today we're going to calculate a feeder for different loads. How do you find, you have different loads, and how do you find the feeder size? So basically what we're going to do, we're going to set it up, we're going to set up the problem. Here's the problem right now, I'm just going to raise this over here so we don't get confused on anything. We have a lighting load. of 41 amps. We have a, a non-continuous load. This is continuous, right, because it's a lighting load. And what do I mean by continuous? What I mean by continuous is that if you have a store or any commercial building, I'm not talking residential, I'm talking more commercial, the lights are going to be on more than three hours. It's a business. So you're going to have them off for more than three hours, so it's called continuous load. That means it's, it, the, um, the opacity, because it's on for three hours, that, those conductors are heating up. So you've got to allow for, uh, give a little fudge and everything, okay? Especially um, for the overcurrent protection and everything when you get involved with the overcurrent protection and also for the wire size, okay? Because you have to increase, you might, you have to increase the, uh, the load on that, okay? So continuous load, and we'll talk, and again, Continuous load for this is based on um, 210.1981 or 215.2A1. Okay, that's where you'll find continuous load. The second one is non continuous load. Okay, and that is the load for that is 50 amps. Okay. And then the last one, we have a motor load. And that is 22 amps. So we want to find the feeder for this, OK? And in a real live picture, if you want to look, this is, this is what you might want to see. You might see something like this. There's a panel. And say this is this is all, um, and you have a three pa three pa um, three pole breaker, and you want to run a feeder, maybe to a sub panel, okay? And it is called a sub panel, and you want to feed all these things. So you have motor loads, you have motor cut, you have motors, motors, you have lighting, and you got. Other, other breakers for, other, for non continuous. So that's what you're, tr you're trying to accomplish. So basically, your lighting load, lighting is equal to 41 amps times 1.25 continuous load, which is 51.25 amps. Remember, as soon as you do lighting, other than dwellers, you've got to add the 125%. Very, very important. So this is the real number now, 51.25. So you be sure your, your conductor is based on this, not the 41, okay? Then we have a continuous load, the non-continuous, non-continuous at 50 amps. And then we have the motor load, and it's 22 times 1.25, and you'll find that in 430.22. Again, for the startup and everything for the motor, you allow 125%. So when we do that, we come out with 27.50 amps, and if we add it up, we come out with 128.75 amps. So this is my calculated load, so these feeder, this feeder over here has to be at least uh, 128.75. And if you want, we'll just go into the code book, which, which is 310.15B16, and we'll just look it up for, uh, you know, just to have a little fun. And if I look it up, it's, um, we'll go to the 75 degree column, and we go to 310.15B16.
and we look it up, we, our, our load is 128.75, and we, uh, number three wire, a number one wire, a number two, a number three, 75 degrees, a number two, a number two wire, We could actually use, say, say we're using THHN wire, okay, or THWN-2. Two, this means 90 degree also. So we go to 90 degree column, and right now we're looking, and we will find that a number two wire, a number three wire is equal to 115 amps, and a number two wire is equal to 130 amps. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use the number two wire for this. A number two THHH. Okay? Actually, we could use it, but we can't use it because we have to be in a 75 degree column. So I am wrong and I apologize because there's no, uh, there's no derating. So the answer is going to be, actually, the answer is going to be a number one wire, a number one. Okay, we got to go to 75 degree column. See, there's no derating here, no nothing. So a number two again at 75 degrees. I apologize. It's 115 amps, and a number one at 75 degrees Celsius is 130 amps. So we're going to use this. Okay? That's how you do it. Just a basic calculation. You go to 75 degree column and it's 130 amps. Thank you and have a great day. And if you want, you could click below to subscribe. Take care.